Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to the channel McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahey. Before we hop into this video, this channel has really grown like crazy. We have reached 1,000 subscribers, and I could not be more excited. I have so much more Star Wars content planned, and it would be great to help the channel grow even more by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and tapping the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let's hop right into this video. We continue today's series of videos from the Darth Vader comic series from Marvel that came out this year. This series takes place after Vader's duel with Luke on Cloud City in The Empire Strikes Back. Vader went on a quest to find out more about Luke and met Padme's body double Sabe, who then helped lead Vader to the medical facility on Polis Massa, where Luke was born. Upon discovering this location, Vader realized Palpatine lied to him when he told him that Vader had killed Padme on Mustafar all those years earlier. Vader went to confront Palpatine about this, who proceeded to rip Vader's limbs off with the Force and brought him back to Mustafar, where he had his troops toss Vader into the lava bank where he was burned after his battle with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Palpatine left Vader there as a Sith exercise, as punishment to see if he would either die or get stronger through the dark side to survive. He has also forbidden Vader to use the Force during this time, and to add intensity to this punishment, Palpatine has also dispersed the mysterious Sith assassin Ochi of Bastoon to kill Vader, who is currently a weakened, limbless stump on the grounds of Mustafar. This is where the last issue left off, and where today's story begins. We see the broken and beaten Vader as he begins to use his current remaining limb to drag himself across the fiery sand of Mustafar. He pulls himself up to a vent where he senses a shadowy figure in the distance. Knowing someone is after him, Vader pulls himself through the vent where he begins to have flashbacks. This is the same facility where he killed the Separatist leaders during the events of Revenge of the Sith. As Vader makes his way deeper into the building, he remembers the younglings and Separatist leaders that he slaughtered without mercy on that day. He even finds his way to the exact room where he killed the Separatists, their decaying bodies still laying in the exact positions where they were slain. A mouse droid rolls past, which Vader takes and using his engineering skills he had developed since he was a child, reprograms the droid to bring him the robotic limbs of the droids laying around the room. He then uses the tools laying around to graft mismatched pieces of droid parts to his body, granting himself mobility once more. He is then greeted by the voice of the mysterious assassin sent by Palpatine to kill him. He claims that he kills with honor, and would rather kill someone who could stand on their own two feet. Now that Vader is mobile once again, the assassin is here to finish the job. He then peers around the corner to where Vader was, and finds the Sith Lord nowhere to be found. Suddenly, Vader leaps down and ignites his lightsaber, cutting into the assassin's armor. The assassin strikes back with his spear, striking into Vader, and a ferocious duel ensues. He then pulls a blaster and fires at Vader, only to realize the Sith Lord has vanished once more. As he hides, Vader's voice calls out to the assassin, asking who he is. The man responds that his name is Ochi of Bastoon, and that he is the assassin of the Sith. Vader knows Ochi is acting on behalf of Palpatine, and tells him, You are nothing to him. He will consume you and throw you away. Ochi responds to Vader that he is not his master, and that he will not break him. Vader simply responds by saying, We shall see. Suddenly, the floor breaks out from under Ochi, and Vader's new robotic arm reaches out and begins to choke the assassin. Standing in the lava with his new cybernetic legs, Vader interrogates Ochi, asking what the Emperor wants. Ochi desperately claims that it's just for Vader to be dead, but Vader knows it's more than that. Ochi then claims that the Emperor is seeking power that is beyond both of their understandings, power that only the Emperor can build. Vader then demands to know where the Emperor is building this supposed power, when suddenly, something that sounds like an otherworldly voice calls out to Vader, asking who is that that is asking all these questions. Vader follows the voice, walking through the lava of Mustafar, and discovers it is coming from a strange cave. 
Ochi then leaps over Vader and blasts the entrance to the cave, causing it to collapse. Vader hurls his saber at Ochi, who catches it and begins to mock the Sith Lord. Fascinated by the voice calling out to him, Vader ignores Ochi and hurries inside the cave before it fully collapses. Ochi, thinking Vader is dead, claims that this victory was easier than he expected. Inside, the mystery voice mocks Vader that he would throw his whole life away just to hear what this voice has to say, not even knowing what questions to ask. The voice says that Vader's fury cannot solve the riddles of the eye of Webbish Pong. We are then greeted to a rather disturbing sight of what appears to be a giant human-pig hybrid head resting in a pool of lava with a large spider-like being with webbed feet laying atop of the head. And that is the conclusion of Issue 7 of the Darth Vader 2020 comic book from Marvel. Issue 8 is out and we will be covering that soon on the channel. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, it would be great if you could give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching, remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.